Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Chevy Wars. I seem to be on a bit of a winning streak. Let's see if we can keep it up. Good luck. I apologize. I'm missing audio. One second while I go correct that. All right, I should be able to hear things now. There we go. So we're doing opposite side castling, and the rumor I hear is that when you do that, uh, you can save a move by not putting your king on 2-2, two, two, or 8-2, or 2-8, or however you... Oh! That's just a rumor, though, and don't take it at face value. It's always important to validate rumors before following them blindly. Well, shit. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a mess. I guess on the bright side, I do lose a lance, but I gain an initiative. But yeah, this is my first game of the day. Perhaps I haven't had my coffee. <laughs> Perhaps I'm just in a mood to try to play something really experimental. We'll find out. Now, I've had this position before, and it's actually not the easiest one to win, so... Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. But in the future, don't bring the silver up unless you know you can tuck the king back. Uh, as the proverb says, aim at floating pieces. And that's so, uh, this lance in the corner is a floating piece. And chests... oh, wait, they moved the silver. Okay, I didn't see that happen. I've been yammering on a bit. And chess, if you dropped a piece, you just throw in the towel. And it's a tremendously frustrating experience. Um, and Shogi, the game goes on. It's a very lively game. I don't want to expose my knight, but I do want to vaguely threaten either bringing the knight up as not a floating piece or advancing the pawn. Um, I'm not totally sure. But each turn they'll have to think about everywhere I can drop the bishop until I actually do drop it. So the longer I withhold the bishop drop, the better. <laughs> this is also an interesting dilemma. I don't think I ever have done this lance drop, but I think it's just accidental that I've avoided it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm surprisingly well equipped against uh, something like this. All right, I don't know what to do. This is extremely messy. I guess we'll drop back the rook and threaten to attack over here. Um, Hmm. 
Here's a random thought. This lance is not exactly a floating piece. And this is more complicated a picture than I'm painting it to be. But I have two Tempe to chase down the Lance. Um, so let's try this. It's not like the Lance is going anywhere. And it's not as if I have a good place to drop the Bishop now that their Rook and Gold have coordinated, so... Okay. Um, hmm. So the opponent is still up material. I have a lance and a bishop. They have a knight and a bishop. Uh, earlier they claimed my lance for free, so they are up a knight or something like that. Whereas I've got my lance from the corner is now in hand. Um... Wow. That's committal. Okay, I'll defend my pawn. I guess they really want an initiative, and they've got it. Though I don't know why they're so desperate for it. Nanafun. I guess I just don't appreciate this game well enough. Hate doing that. So they're going to try to open this file, and my king is going to try to run as quickly as possible. Um, but it might be too late. This aims both at the pawn, but at the king beyond two pawns here. Um, noticing that they can't drop a knight that, to defend this pawn. Let me double check. I did get my overlay set, and it does have the proverb there. Cool. But yeah, I'm going to... I don't know. 
I've succeeded in not throwing away this knight yet. Um, and surprisingly, I have an attack. I was trying to defend against a silver drop here, and this seems to be the primary way to defend against it. Um, although, if my gold ends... Oh. Okay. Well, I lucked out in a major way. Um, yes, I am going to run, but we're going to take the pawn first. Actually, the pawn can do a great job defending, too. Yeah, silver drop here would have won my bishop, I think. Um, I'm attempting to retreat back into a middle game and calm the position. I don't know if this is a futile effort. Typically it is, but here specifically I don't know. It's futile if they can uh, manage to ignite this attack without uh, giving away too many pieces. But if the only way they can attack is by giving away too many pieces and the attack burns out, that's a different matter. Either way, I don't want my king here. I'd rather dodge into this corner, but that takes time. Did I say that corner? I might have meant the other corner. Oh, crud. Which way do I go? Well, toward the center seems pretty unwise. Okay, let's run this way. <laughs> and pray that this knight is more of a door than a window. Okay. Oh, that's clever. Um, I think I can respond with cleverness Go in kind. All right, I will give up my bishop for two pieces. It's a slightly inferior trade, but those pieces were really well placed. And I could use these pieces either offensively or defensively. Hmm. This is the downside of this trade. The attack continues. But they just blocked their rook. And in theory, I could push this. Okay, well. That doesn't actually threaten anything. It threatens to make threats. This also threatens to make threats.
三分。Brook defends my goal. Nifun s a n j u b i o Shogi is the game of negotiation. I'm content with what I've got. Nifun. Did I say I was content? I meant I want more. I miss that. Ippun s a n j u b i o Ippun. Sorry, my moves when I was under two minutes might not have made much sense.、Uh, I wasn't toying with my opponent, I was just struggling to find good moves. Good luck.
I want to bring the night out. Maybe that's too optimistic. Nana Fun. So the trade-off here is if they take my silver, I can advance my knight. Hmm. That's not good. Hmm, I missed that.
If they attack it, I'm probably walking into a fork, but lots of pieces will exchange, so maybe it's fine. Maybe earlier I had some tactics. I just didn't attack aggressively enough. It's hard to know. That gives me a bishop. Bishop gives me a rook. Go fun. And I'm attacking a gold general. Yes, our opponent has a lot of pieces, and this is scary, but I need to try. Oh, uh, goodness. I'm not sure how to try to attack this thing. It feels dumb, but these pieces are just floating around, so maybe it's not a complete loss of time. Sampun. Hmm. Maybe I needed to drop the pawn instead of what I did. Hmm. I don't know.
2分30秒2分1分30秒。1分。Oh. Thirty seconds. But playing impulsively is one of the things we enjoy doing, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe eventually it gets old and we mature out of it. Maybe. I'm keeping this bishop diagonal tension as long as I can, because it just continues, it constantly sparks interest. Um, but just because this veiled threat exists doesn't mean it's an effective threat. Uh, so, don't play moves just because they exist, play moves because they're good. Oh my goodness. 
This is looking interesting. This is looking so fascinating. Um, hmm. Look at all the tension that's built up over here. They're keeping their rook position flexible. They've not pushed this pawn twice, but um, I think we're both overacting a bit. Um, Maybe this is way too aggressive on my part, because um, they have the silver drop right there, or even here. I don't know. I blocked my rook and I blocked my bishop, so... Again, I'm playing impulsively. Again, this very well could cost me. Um... Nanafun. Oh, well, check that out. They get my knight. Well played. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness! This I forgot my bishop. All right. Well, it's just a bishop. Um. How could that matter? Well, we'll find out. So, yeah, I'm about to be down three pieces. 
because I'm not paying attention. Hopefully I can do better in the future. Um, but also, you know, in a chess game, this would mean things are extremely, very, totally over. In Shogi, there are still chances. It's part of what makes the game beautiful and exciting and confusing all at the same time. So I'm threatening to drop a pawn and then drop a silver and then hope that I have something to follow. That's the plan. And as long as my opponent's rook is dormant, I have some, there is some merit to my insanity. Um, given what a wreck this position is, this is a good time to do something. Even if that thing ends up not being the right thing. We have at least made an effort. But notice, I've built a strong castle here, so I don't need to run completely afraid from everything. Um, now, they want their horse next to the king, but they also don't want to give me a silver. So which do they want more? They want the material more. I used to be of that mindset, too. Um... You don't always get what you want, though. Or if you do, sometimes you end up paying a tremendous price for it. Well, here's the same trick we used last game. Pawn contact check. Um, I, admit, I didn't have a follow-up prepared. We're working on it. So this is a target now. My king is also a target, but I'm using my rook. Is that a good thing? Well, if you use it well, maybe. All right, that looks like a decent square for the rook. Surely they will drop a pawn. I'm not sure what it does, but... Oh, never mind. Um... Before this bishop escapes somewhere useful, let's attack it. Aim at floating pieces. Now, technically, that's not floating. Technically, this... Well, this isn't floating either.
The rook is floating. But now my goal to prevents me from dropping and retreating my horse smoothly, so... We'll need to find some other way. This looks like another way. Something. For a while I was debating taking this gold here, but this looks even better. Hmm. This is a terrible move. Hmm. I might have hallucinated just a bit here. I thought I could do that for free. Behold my pawn and tremble in fear. 
一分Going up the board is mate in one. Thanks for the game. Well played. This is why these opponents are one Don. So that ends my winning streak. Just a bit. Uh, hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.